Hey everyone, Marcia here. I am back today with another scrapbook process video for my creative scrapbook. Today I am creating a layout with the September main kit. And this gorgeous fun kit featured the Chamel Reasons to Smile collection. It also included some Vicki Booten Bold and Bright. And there was also a 49th and Market sheet of paper that I'm not using on this layout from the Spectrum Gardenia line. Great for background paper. But for this layout, I opted to use a Vicki Booten mixed media background paper from my stash. And I don't remember which one of her paper pads this is from. I have several. I wanted to concentrate on using the orange and pinks in the collection for my colors here. And so that's why I chose this background. It has those pinks and orange and yellows and stuff that I was going for. I am using a Viewmaster die cut that I've used in several of my past videos. When I cut them, I cut out a whole 12 by 12 sheet because I love using this cut file on my layouts. It's great for layering. I love the hearts and I decided I would back them on this layout with some light pink and a darker pink. The photo I'm scrapbooking today is of my daughter and her boyfriend. And they live in Denver, Colorado, and flew back to visit us during the Minnesota State Fair. We were at the fair, and my daughter is a huge fan of eating all the things at the fair. It was really hilarious. We took a video of her holding a pickle pizza, a pronto pup, and what else was there? Pickle french fries, something like that. And, uh, yeah, so it was just hilarious. She likes to try everything. And this is the first time she brought her boyfriend along to experience the state fair with her. The picture I'm scrapping of them, they are posing in front of the Sweet Martha Cookies booth at the fair, holding their big bucket of cookies with the Sweet Martha in the background. And... Uh, it is just a cute picture. I had to scrap this one. The small floral print paper in the background is from the Reasons to Smile collection. And I layered that behind my photo. And then I took the pink notepad 4x6 journal card from a Vicki Booten paper. And I trimmed it so that I could put part of it on the left of the photo. Most of it is on the left of the photo. And then there's a small piece sticking out on the right side of the photo. I'm also layering in here a frame behind that floral paper in the upper right. And this is just to help draw emphasis to the phrase stickers that I'm going to put up there. I have a Love It When. And the title I have on here on the right side of the photo is Having Fun. And these came from the Vicki Booten Bold and Bright collection. She is great for having lots of phrases and words in her die cuts and journaling die cuts. And they're wonderful for layering too because they're so big. On the left side of my photo is another ephemera piece that I am layering here. It's just an orange with a pink tab on the top, like a notebook paper edge. And I put that behind my photo to help layer it. My photo is adhered down with some foam tape, so that gives it some extra dimension too. There are several photo tabs then that I have for journaling. So one of the photo tabs, I have Minnesota State Fair, so we know where they are. And on the right side in that photo tab, I have the year that I put down. I did some computer journaling, and I um, cut that into strips. And once I printed it out on cardstock, 
and put that below my title. And then I just created this huge cluster in the lower right of a bunch of floral ephemera pieces from the Reasons to Smile collection. Lots of cameras are in the Reasons to Smile die cuts and the sticker sheet. And so I opted to put one of the cameras here because this was a really cute photo op moment. And the You and Me sticker from her sticker sheet as well. It's really cute. I'm going to finish off my layout by adding a twine bow. I'm using my Bow Easy tool to tie the bow. I love this tool. I got it at a card store that has since gone out of business, but I use this tool all the time. If you're in need of a tool to tie the perfect bow every time, check out the link in the description below my video. And that is pretty much my layout. Please check out all of the kits at my creative scrapbook. Again, I am using the main kit. They also have a creative kit, a limited edition kit, and an album kit. I did do an unboxing video for the September main kit, so if you're truly interested, you can check it out to see what is all included. A kit subscription also includes access to digital cut files and a monthly sketch. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye-bye now.